What's up guys, Vinny Vega here and welcome to Vega Tech. Today we're going to be going over the um, installation process and the setup for the hit counter and the speed soul save organizer. Um, not so much the installation process because the download is pretty simple, but um, I've noticed that there's not a new version of the hit counter manager um, setup guide for OBS. So we're going to go over that today. And we're also going to go over um, just like a little overview of the latest version of the hit counter, which is the version 1.20. So by the time you see this video, there might be a later version out, but for now, this is the latest version as of uh, January 7th, 2021. And um, even if you do watch this video later on, it's going to be basically the same process unless they drastically change something. So anyways, going on to the hit counter, these links are both in the description. So both the speed souls and the hit counter. So I'll go ahead and navigate to the, to the description and then you can go ahead and download these links. So go ahead and hit download on the top part right here, the zip file. And also a download uh, this one right here, the portable. There's a setup and a portable, but I prefer the portable, and here's why. Um, the setup will integrate to your Windows just like any other program, but portable will allow you to basically just take the, the whole folder of the hit counter just anywhere you want to put it. So it's way easier. You can just put it on a thumb drive, put it on another computer, set up hit counter there. Real simple, or if you're like setting up a new drive or something for your OS, like you got a new SSD or something, Real easy to do, so go ahead and download that as well. So once you get, once you download these files, you're going to want to unzip them. And then once you unzip them, you will see the speed Souls organizer is just this icon right here. It just, it's portable, just like the hit counter. So it's just the exe. This will also transfer over pretty easily, just like the hit counter. So starting off with the hit counter, you will see this exe file right here, go ahead and open that up. And now Windows Defender might flag it. Um, pretty much anything from GitHub or Nexus mods tends to flag it. So just hit more info and run anyway. And then this is it, the hit counter itself. So once you have the hit counter up, and by the way, you do have to have this open when you want to, if you want your hotkeys to work, while you're doing your runs with OBS for like Souls games and such. Um, and also you can use it for pretty much anything. Like I've used it for Resident Evil games and stuff like that. So go ahead and open up your OBS. We are going to add a browser source and just call it hit counter manager. There we go. So once you open that up, you want to hit local file and then go to browse. Once you're in here, locate your hit counter manager, wherever you put it, go to designs and then go to hit counter GUI.html. You want this file right here and then go ahead and open it. Voila, it is up and running. So for the hit counter, you'll notice right away that the uh, canned um, splits for all content, all bosses is actually cut off a bit. To fix that, go back into your properties and you wanna change the height of the hit counter to 1200. And then this will give you all the splits because everybody loves seeing those big splits on those large runs, right? Well, it depends on you. If you wanna make them smaller, you can, but that's, that's it. I mean, we're done here, right? That's, that's basically how you set it up. It's so much easier than what it used to be. It used to be really convoluted on how you set that up. So to do a quick little overview on the hit counter itself, you'll see um, reset button, P set your PB. There's also a new timer now. And there's also add hit. And there's also a new feature called hitway. And hitway is basically just hits on the way to a boss. So if you're on your way to Nameless King, add a hit there, or actually with this one, 
But um, generally speaking, most people don't tend to use that function. They just add the hits where they, they happen, and that's it. So going into our settings, we're going to see that global shortcuts, there's a ton of them. Um, most of them that you have to really worry about, truthfully, is going to be hits, undo hit, previous split, next split, and reset, and maybe set PB. Those are going to be the main ones you're going to be using pretty much primarily as far as hitless runs are going. And uh, pretty simple, just set it up to what, whatever hotkey you desire and then go from there. You just click on the box and then you hit what you want to do. Like if I want to do F5 for hit, which is what I use for mine. And then go to your style sheet. Um, this is actually a new feature here. Um, I'm going to put this to the side so I can show you. This one in particular, um, highlight current split. Um, I actually do think this is a kind of a cool feature because it sort of emphasizes the um, current split that you're on. So as you can see, it actually fattened up the line right there. It will be highlighted still, but it actually makes it where like the viewers can see like a bigger picture of what you're what you're working with for the current split that you're working on. And uh, down here is customization. Um, this is for um, if you want to set up a custom HTML. Um, it will be labeled as a style sheet dot whatever you name it, or and then dot uh, um, CSS. Um, as you can see, there's um, pink dot CSS. This is actually uh, Slippery Susie's uh, splits. Um, and I think if you click on this right here, it should change it. Yes. So. As you can see, it changed to uh, Slippery Susie splits right here. So that's how, it's, that's how you will apply um, when you uh, set up a style sheet. I'm not going to go over that today. Now, behavior. This is going to be setting up like the uh, different things on your hit counter. Like um, if you don't want to show time, you can shut that off. And then I'll close that out. Um, pretty much just play around with this and see what you want to use. Uh, footer is going to be your totals on the bottom, your current total hits and your current PB total hits. And then also you're going to have like show hits and stuff like that. So just mess around with that and see what you like. Split counter is the traditional and then you have the checkbox, which is just checks or X's if you got hit. Especially if you're on like a really low hit PB, like a one hit PB or something. Then you have the um, no defs, which is pretty interesting. And then you also have the def counter, which is just a straight def counter. So if you want to use this for another game somewhere, or you know, you're just counting defs for fun, go ahead and use that. And then reset uh, and run reset counter. So pretty interesting most people use the traditional split counter but gives you plenty of options there you have any hit as critical boss hits are critical and compared with pb so most people will just use the any hit as critical option most likely and there's also show show last and show next so this the default will obviously like make it as long as you want it but you can also condense it down to last five or next 10 or something like that if you want like a smaller or condensed splits. So that's pretty much it as far as like the overview of that. Um, also, if you want to set up a run, just go ahead and uh, hit the plus sign, click on the plus sign, and then you can set up your splits here. So you can like say Gunder, say uh, Vort here, then this watchers and then like say you mess up and like you uh, say the wrong thing or you want to remove a split go ahead and click on the split and then you want to hit the delete key on your keyboard make sure you click on it and make sure it's highlighted before you do that and then that will get rid of any splits that you no longer need on that particular um, uh, run that you set up so that's pretty much the basics to it and um, there's also a hitless uh, Discord button now, so feel free to click on that, join the hitless Discord if you're doing runs. A lot of cool people there, and mainly talk about strats and 
show clips of like fails and funny stuff and we pretty much help each other out so a lot of good people there to really teach you like anything that you need to know about hitless runs so definitely check that out as well so anyways moving on to the um to the speed souls organizer So for the speed souls organizer, you will have a blank slate like this. So whatever game you want to um, go to, so let's say it's like Dark Souls 3 or whatever like that. Um, it's, it's actually already set up for me for whatever reason. Um, probably because I already had a speed split set up, but this will be blank. So you want to go into uh, save file, browse, and you're going to type in your Cortana search bar percentage app data percentage and then once you're in there you'll navigate to your dark Souls 3 file and then navigate to here this is going to be your save file or your main character if you've already been playing so go ahead and click over here to highlight the whole bar hit Control c and then you're going to hit Control v here and then you're going to hit open so obviously mine's already set up, so it won't let me do it. But uh, once you do that, that will all be set up, okay? Now, another quick like um, tip I wanna show you guys, um, go ahead and close it if you want this to work properly. Um, if you want to um, back up your saves, like I did just here, right here, you can go ahead and do that. So this folder right here, this this is your graphic settings in game, whatever. And then in this folder, I have all my folders for different runs and whatnot. So all you really really need to do, if you're ever backing this up, to like I said before, maybe you set up a new drive for your OS or something like that. Just go ahead and copy, and then just paste it over, and then hit replace. And then that's going to just put it all in there. And then you're going to find when you open up the speed tool save organizer, everything is in place as if you never left. So a very easy way to back that up. So make sure you copy, uh, paste your, um, your save organizer periodically. So you can like keep that up to date and, um, it'll make things easier for you if you ever need to, um, you know, transfer it over to another computer or drive. So that's pretty much how that works for the speed save organizer and for the functionality of it, import, load, and replace save state. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, import save when you're trying to save a save file, load when you're trying to load it. And then replace save state is, say you um, want to make a new save file, you, you're doing a different route, but you're doing like an all content, but just different routing. You can just go ahead and click on DSA when you're at the DSA flog gate and then just hit replace state and then that will replace that file. Now you will have to quit out to make a save file typically. Um, that's going to be the surefire way to make sure it works properly. And you're going to notice when you load up for the first time, so you're practicing like ODK or something, that when you first load up, it doesn't always load the save file first thing right away so if that happens just quit out and then load again and it should work so other than that that's pretty much how it goes and then for setting up your folders like this just add a new folder and then add a new run say you're doing like sorcery only it says it already exists because, well, that was like my dummy save when I was like kind of messing with things. So anyways, that's pretty much how it's all set up. And um, it's a very great tool for practicing bosses and, and really streamlines the process of doing the no hit run. So hope this got, hope this was helpful for all you guys. And um, also hope you guys have a badass day today. And I'll see you on the next one.